So everyone, a little bit of a DC news roundup today. First of all, we're going to be talking about the new blue beetle photos and some information surrounding that. But in the second portion of today's DC news roundup, we're going to talk about J.J. Abrams' Bad Robot Productions deal with Warner Brothers and how recently that's been under a little bit of scrutiny, you could say, coming from the major trades, if you aren't aware already, back in 2019. There was an overall five-year deal under Warner Media's umbrella, if you will, with them, you know, th shows coming out such as HBO Max's Constantine reboot and other little bits and pieces. So we're going to talk about that and how Warner Brothers Discovery, if you aren't aware already, which you should be, is kind of got things under a microscope when it comes to money and, and whatnot and yeah like considering that five-year deal and we're a little bit in the middle of it what's going on like uh with certain things so we're going to dig into that but first of all blue beetle looks awesome I, I trust by now that all of you have already seen the photos out there but just in case i'm going to leave them linked down in the description uh but sholo maraduena looks just incredible there's there's photos of him in the suit also with the helmet off and if you actually go to the co-creator of Blue Beetle's Twitter feed, Cully Hamner, he shares this and says something interesting about it. So what he says is, what's even crazier to me about these set pictures of Sholo Maraduena in costume as Blue Beetle is that the guy behind him in the Pime Tech shirt is my old roommate and was my model for the character of Paco in the comic. He's a crew member on the film, no lie. So I thought that was a cool little tidbit behind the scenes. As you can see from the Twitter feed that I've captured here, the co-creator is very, very happy. And it seems that fans are as well. Like I include myself there. I am very happy. I'm insanely happy that they've gone practical. You know, it's not kind of that situation where they're just going to CGI the whole suit with little CGI references all over the actor. Here, it's very practical. But the, the thing to remember is, even though this looks insanely good for just, you know, a practical suit, which is very interesting when you're talking about the character of Blue Beetle, given that the extreme powers he has, the flight, this that, and the other, it obviously will be touched up with CG at some point. Maybe that's the eye. Some fans are speculating about perhaps, you know, showing the articulation uh, with the mouth. And obviously the blue scarab itself giving him all kinds of abilities. But you may have already seen what I've been featuring on screen, and that is the official concept art for Blue Beetle. So with a bit of a comparison there, you can see just why so many people are happy. And, you know, just in of itself, comic book costumes quite often are awesome, but sometimes they do, you know, innovate like they have with certain suits adding on cool aspects here and there but sometimes there's a bit of deviation going and straying too far sometimes fans don't get happy uh, as a result of that so when you see this you know mixed in with the trinity's concept art if you aren't familiar already uh, he is actually announced that he has been working on the film on his twitter feed here he's saying that ever since dc fandom i wanted to share with you guys my involvement with the movie it's been an absolute pleasure to work among outstanding artists in the business i can't thank 9b collective enough for this opportunity and you can see that it's a straight up you know like that's more or less what the suit looks like but gives you a little bit of an idea of what it can look like with the effects you know when the movie's gone through some post-production some cgi's been applied to the suit a bit of light here and there the wings in action it's more or less a spitting image of what they've got of that practical suit on set and vice versa now in the trinity's concept art as well you can see cord industries in the background and we know that susan sarandon has joined dc's blue beetle as victoria cord now fans are speculating already that she is playing the villain and the wife of ted cord now Given Ted Kaur's history with the Scarab, you have to think how obviously that's going to land in Jaime Reyes' freaking hands and how he's going to become the new Blue Beetle. Perhaps Victoria Cord, the wife of Ted Cord in this iteration, is kind of going after trying to recover by any means necessary the, the Scarab. And obviously the Scarab is like, but I don't want to be freaking, you know, used for Cord Industries anymore. Screw you. Keep me out of that woman's way. Who, who knows, really? as you always say adaptations aren't copy and paste but as you may have seen from some of the set photos it looks to be a period of time where we have Jaime Reyes just kind of experimenting with the suit having smashed into the car could just be kind of figuring out oh god didn't realize I could fly 
but the armor protected me anyway kind of thing. And then who knows, he could take off. It's just that typical superhero learning phase, uh, which I feel like is going to be a really interesting part of the movie. This movie is just looking really cool already. Obviously, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but the fact that they did have the confidence, we can't forget as well, that this was meant to be an HBO Max exclusive film. And what I mean by the confidence there is that it's moved to an actual theatrical release. Now, Batgirl is still a HBO Max exclusive film. But I am wondering, you know, are they going to move that into theatrical release as well? Especially with Michael Keaton there. But maybe, you know, with wanting to get more people over to HBO Max and all things like that, especially with David Zaslav just kind of really keeping a microscope on certain things, well, everything <laughs> that they've acquired, uh, they might reserve that one for the streaming service. So, kind of a double suit day, if you will. If you don't know what I mean by that, is yesterday I covered the Flash movie suit because we got our best look at it yet, like right up close. Also in the back half of that video, just in case you're interested, I did a bit of a discussion, you know, questions from you guys, you know, this movie is looking like a disaster. Will it be, you know, is the reverse Flash going to be in it? Things like that. That was fun. And then today we get another suit picture, uh, arguably one that is a little bit more popular with the fans. Although the Flash suit does indeed have its fans. Even I like quite a few pieces of it, even though, well, yeah, watch the video if you want my full thoughts on that. But let's move on to the J.J. Abrams news. Now, if you're not new here to the channel, or if you are new, I may as well, I guess, say that we do cover some of the shows being helmed under Bad Robot Productions, J.J. Abrams' grand kind of five-year deal with Warner Media, and that is HBO Max's Constantine, for example, or Madame X. Like, they've got things in development. But that's the issue in a way in development so i've pulled a few quotes from major trades here because the big kind of topic here is that we're more or less in the middle ish of this five-year deal and there hasn't really been any major major benefits of note so far out of all of the series thus far everything is still more or less very early on the tracks and just kind of labeled a project in development, which it just kind of makes you think, yeah. Now I have done, just in case those who don't know about it, an update video on the HBO Max Constantine series, everything that we know so far with some updates that I think will interest a lot of you. But this is what the Hollywood Reporter initially had to say. So Bad Robot's rich overall deal with Warner Brothers Discovery is currently not in jeopardy, though the lack of output has created a larger discussion about what the newly merged company expects to stem from the pact. Zaslav, and this is where things kind of get interesting, like the sources say, was frustrated with the lack of delivery from the deal that was signed back in September 2019 after Abrams and Bad Robot met with suitors, including Apple, as they shopped for a rich new pact. Now, Abrams has multiple projects in the works under a company-wide deal, with Demimond joining an adult animated Batman series that reunites Abrams with his Felicity collaborator and friend Matt Reeves, who is behind the Batman feature film. That's interesting. And, you know, considering and assuming we are getting a DC fandom this year, I really do hope that, and, and this is my hope, and I say hope because the whole part of this story is, or as sources say, allegedly frustrated with the lack of delivery from that deal that was signed back in 2019. It's like, okay, so what's going on? Why are we only just kind of looking for actors now for the HBO Max Constantine series? There's a little tidbit into my Constantine update video. So I say hope with the Batman Caped Crusader animated series because with regards to DC fandom, because I, I want to see something with it, but will we have something substantial, or will it kind of just be maybe a picture or concept art or two? I kind of hope for something more than that, but this is exactly what we're talking about, because it's not just Batman Cape Crusader, that there's other things. So this is what Deadline has to say, J.J. Abrams' ambitious HBO sci-fi drama series, Demimond, has hit a major roadblock in its long journey to the screen. The issues related to the show's price come amid talks of a potential re-evaluation of the massive deal Abrams' Bad Robot has at Warner Brothers for film, TV, gaming, and digital content, as the new Warner Brothers Discovery is scrutinizing every aspect of the assets they took over. This is kind of true. As events unfold, the more the weeks unfold into months, if you will, 
things are somewhat coming out. Things are being evaluated. This this really does go with what we've been learning so far. Granted, several different topics are in several different areas, but it's all a part of the bigger umbrella. For example, they're looking at this under a magnifying glass. But then we also had something like Wonder Twins cancelled, and that was reportedly, according to the Hollywood Reporter, one source said that the budget was too high for Wonder Twins for what is considered an HBO Max movie. Twins was looking at $75 million budget, but according to sources, Zaslav wants to keep HBO Max original movies at $35 million and under so my larger point there is just like things like that and and all other bits and pieces are being like okay so what is worth it you know this goes back to the article and the video i made like a, a little while back now I, I guess around a month or so i can't really remember the overhaul of dc entertainment they are getting their shite in order seeing what they can cut seeing what they can optimize and obviously now when you look at the hey didn't we have a deal with uh bad robot productions you know jj but wait we're in the middle of it now, and we're not really too far ahead. Wait, they've got a series, uh, Demi Mond, uh, of which is how much? How much money? Okay, do we really want to do that? Deadline go on to say that brought by the network four years ago with a straight-to-series order, Demi Mond is still in early pre-production. Hmm, <laughs> you see what I mean? It's still quite early on despite that, but major budget issues are threatening to derail it. According to sources, the studios on the project, Warner Brothers Television and HBO, have been trying to rein in costs. But Bad Robot has kept firm on their proposed budget, said to be in the mid $200 million range, and would not agree to a reduction below that. Again, this is all on top of other things in development that have still, you know, really to bear fruit in a substantial way right now. HBO Max's DC comic-based Justice League Dark franchise, as reported here in the articles, which features shows including Constantine and Madame X. This is where the Hollywood Reporter interestingly says, and this is where, you know, the DC side appeals to a lot of us with what's going on and the opinions kind of as sources report at Warner Brothers. Hollywood Reporter say, sources at the DC Comics properties have also come under under the spotlight. Sources suggest that there is some frustration within the halls of Warner Brothers Discovery that Abrams has laid claim to a number of DC characters but has yet to get anything on the air. Sources note that Warners have seen scripts for Constantine and the pilot of Madame X. So again, it's just like, don't get me wrong, I understand, especially if you're dealing with a big house of multiple projects, it's just that it doesn't seem to be going back to what I was teasing a second ago. Really anything that's bore any major fruit yet, if you know what I mean. Like, again, sometimes shows can, and quite often in fact, get off the, the, the project in development floor a lot sooner than this. But again, they're getting a bit frustrated now. It doesn't mean anything majorly bad because it's also being reported that Zaslav and his team are committed to staying in the J.J. Abrams business. But it certainly piqued my interest, especially as I'm following and keeping a very close eye on the Justice League Dark Universe side of things. And it, it, it majorly appealed to me because I've been keeping an eye on that ever since I remember, as if this is probably due to the pandemic and stuff, but it was like yesterday when I was making a video on that bad robot productions, you know, I've made a five-year deal. Uh, it was reported in that that they're looking at the Justice League Dark franchise and characters like that coming to all new original HBO Max, you know, series like the reboot of Constantine we're talking about. And that is in development and stuff uh, and other bits and pieces and even possibly movies like Zatanna and things like that. But it's just, it's not like it hasn't been spoken about. It's not like it's in not in development and things, but it's just like... It's just like constantly bringing up that thing to your friends. Yeah, I'm working on this. Yeah, I'm working on this two years later. Yeah, you know, I'm working on this. It's like that. And understandably, if you've signed a big deal as a company, you'd be like, right, what's going on? What's going on? And also, don't forget, you know, we can't forget that there's a search for a black Superman. Tan Nahasi Coates is the author who's writing the screenplay, as it was reported, and it's produced by none other than J.J. Abrams. So again, that's another thing that's just like we've heard whispers about for the longest time, but it's still just like, hey, you know, what's going on with that? This was reported back in early 2021. That's why it might not seem too dis unfamiliar to you. Uh, but ultimately, 
We're just gonna have to wait and see. Obviously, things are making a move. If you watch my Constantine video, things are underway with that. It is being written. It's got the writer. Uh, they're looking for actors. And as a big fan of the Justice League Dark characters, you know, bring back Swamp Thing, please. I'm definitely intrigued to see things like this come to our screen. And that's the thing. Will we see some things? And with, with Warner Media Discovery, Warner Brothers Discovery, sorry, putting a magnifying glass onto things now and, and trying to scratch some money off the grand overall plan that they have in certain areas you know with like for example the 75 million dollar budget going down to actually we kind of want hbo max films to be around 35 if, if you can do that will there be any knock-on effects to other things like this will they be trying i mean already there is that they, they don't want to pay the the budget they have for demimond uh to what bad robot want for it so could other projects like HBO Max's Constantine and Madame X and God knows what else they have as the Hollywood Reporter suggests that there's some frustration within the halls because Abrams has laid claim to a number of DC characters but nothing has really come on the air yet or seems that close to it. It feels like JJ's deal in a couple of years time by the time a lot of these shows have finally maybe started to be like okay trailer is releasing now we're gonna be well into like year four maybe but either way guys let me know what you make of this let me know what you thought about what we spoke about with blue beetle but also the the larger things going on with warner brothers discovery i keep wanting to say warner media today i don't know why but that's the dc news i had to talk about today if you like this video and you want to see more frequent little kind of dc updates like this and rambles do subscribe to the channel and also let me know down in the comments below if you want to keep seeing like little smaller story updates like this but thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and i'll see you people of the dc cinematic universe in the next video goodbye